We leave the coast, wetlands, and lagoons towards the inland, open lowland savannas, fields used for agriculture, and pasture land. Agriculture, human habitation, and using wood for fuel has eliminated nearly all of the original vegetation in the impoverished country of Haiti, while 10% of the Dominican territory is still covered by the native forests. But in spite of the deforestation, an astounding 6,000 plant species exist on the island. In comparison, this equals nearly half the number of plant species found in all of Europe and 30% of all discovered plant species in the United States. All this from an island the size of South Carolina. Most significantly, more than 2,000 plants are endemic species and grow naturally only on Hispaniola. For many years now, the island's agriculture and pasture land has been the conquered terrain of the very special cattle egret. Originating in Africa, they came to South America in the late 19th century, spreading rapidly throughout the continent as more and more appropriate habitat. In comparison, this equals nearly around 90-30% of all discovered plant species in the United States. All this from where now the bird is common at low most significant his more than 2,000 plants are endemic species in many regions around the world. They have become Spaniola wherever food is available. Cattle egret feeds mostly on grasshoppers, crickets, spiders, plants, frogs, and mocks, but an opportunistic feeder and may catch larger reptiles. And this has helped its rapid propagation in North and South America. Once a reptile is caught, there is no forgiveness but not all reptiles seem to be easy meals. Hispaniola's open, lowland savannas are also the terrain of an endemic subspecies of the double-striped thick knee, which cannot be seen on any other Caribbean island. Reminiscent of true curlews, during night hours their loud, wailing songs fill the countryside, where they were traditionally captured and domesticated to keep the house clean of insects. Once widespread throughout the island, the introduced mongoose and habitat converted into sugarcane plantations are the principal causes of their disappearance in many areas. Today, the double-striped thickney is considered a threatened species on Hispaniola. <laughs> 